Our daughter ended her life at 24 due to depression. If someone is determined to end their life, how can one change their mind? Oh, well, first of all, that, that's I'm very sorry about that. That's a terrible thing. Look, I had this friend, her, sorry. There's been a lot of depression in our family, so it's a question that cuts close to the bone. <clears throat> Anyways, I had this friend, a friend of my parents, and her granddaughter committed suicide, you know. She was just beating herself up about that. What could have I done? What could have I done differently? This is the problem with suicide. It leaves everybody behind thinking, oh my God, what could have I done? I could have treated the person better. I could have listened. I could have been there. It's like, and she was just beating herself up about this, really feeling that she wasn't a useful person, that she'd failed as a grandmother. She's a really good person, you know. And so I went for a walk with her and I said, and she, she's married and she likes her husband and he's a really good guy. And I said, um, look, you're, you're blaming yourself for, the, for your granddaughter's suicide. It's like, are you blaming your husband? Are you sitting him down and telling him what a use, useless bastard he was as a grandfather because his granddaughter committed suicide and how he failed completely? She said, no, I'd never do that. So I said, well, don't do it to yourself. No. People, depression is a terrible thing. And many, many, many things cause it. And we don't understand we, we understand some of them, but lots of them we don't understand at all. You know, sometimes people get depressed because they're really sick. We know that depression can be an inflammatory disease. It might be associated with autoimmune dysfunction. There's lots of reasons that people get depressed, and depressed people can go places that are so dark you just cannot imagine it. And it isn't necessarily the case that you can always rescue someone, you know. And, but, but drowning yourself in the aftermath of a suicide is not helpful. So there's a there's a good room for self-forgiveness there, you know. I mean, maybe you did some things you shouldn't have done that were reprehensible and all of that, but you don't want to beat yourself up. Remember the presumption of innocence, right? Innocent until proven guilty. And you have to apply that to yourself. I don't think, I think there are times when people are so depressed that there isn't anything that anyone can do. You know, and the depressed person thinks, and this is probably the worst part of it, the depressed person thinks everywhere I look it's nothing but catastrophe and there's n I can't see any way out of it. I, I can't see any path forward whatsoever. And then they think as well and maybe it's the combination of these two thoughts that, that really make people suicidal. It's like it's hopeless. It isn't going to get any better. No matter where I turn there's no escape. The suffering is unbearable and I'm absolutely no use whatsoever to anyone. It would be better for everyone if I was just gone because I'm going, if I'm not so much of a burden now that it's going to destroy their life, then I'm going to be that much of a burden in the future. And so it's hard to imagine what that's like for people, but it's dreadful. And there's lots of ways you get there. And so you can listen to people. You can desperately encourage them to seek the help they need you know like i've i've seen antidepressants work miracles on very very many people now they don't work for everyone and they're not a panacea but you know they have side effects and all of that but one of the side effects of untreated depression is that you kill yourself and there is no recovery from that and the, the probability is actually rather high so you can go to war with them about antidepressants if the person can't get out of their depression and they're and they're suicidal it's like what do they have to lose one month on antidepressants they'll know well they might have to experiment longer because it would depend on you know some people respond better to some classes of antidepressants than the others um it's worth having a war with someone if they're in dire straits and they won't do everything they can to get better. ECT works, electroconvulsive therapy works for intractable depression. It's a terrible thing to contemplate, but the modern versions of ECT aren't. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. And again, it's like there's no coming back from death. 
So, look, it isn't clear. You can't rescue everyone. People get sick and they die. And sometimes the way they die looks like it's depression. Depression is a multifaceted phenomena. You can be there for them. You can listen. You can watch. You can intervene. You can try to understand. You can hold them accountable. You can do all of those things. But that, but everyone has their own destiny, you know. And you're not omnipotent. And so sometimes a catastrophe occurs, like your daughters. And then... And then you should try to drag the least amount of misery forward that you can once you recover from your grief.